I'm here talking with Chris Hedges. Uh, Chris, tell me a little bit about what you think is going to be the result of what has just occurred in France. Well, we know what the result will be, which is they'll use massive amounts of industrial force as a kind of retaliation, um, which is, of course, the mechanism that created the terrorism in the first place. Uh, they will, as they already are, demonize Muslims. Uh, there's never any uh, acknowledgement of the horrific amounts of violence that we visit on these communities that have created and enraged these jihadists. Uh, you know, we're already seeing on the mainstream media them called barbarians and terrorists, and, uh, and that's not helpful. I mean, we if we don't understand what drives people to carry out these acts, we can't respond rationally. Uh, and I see every indication that we will, uh, you know, use indiscriminate violence, which only fuels you know, the horrific attacks that we just saw. Well, earlier today, I'm at Christian Amanpour interviewed a politician out in uh, France, and he said that Obama must stop leading from behind now and go, in, go to the forefront. What, do you think that's going to happen? Well, that, that is referring to the fact that they want to put boots on the ground. They want to put troops on the ground. Um, uh, because, of course, uh, the Obama administration has already been carrying out heavy aerial assaults. Uh, so what else can they do? Well, they can deploy U.S. troops, which hasn't worked out particularly well in Afghanistan, it didn't work out particularly well in Iraq. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, as somebody who spent seven years in the Middle East, I was the Middle East Bureau Chief for the New York Times, I find the whole thing just tragic and horrifying and frightening. Now, what can we do as uh, activists to try to mitigate what's happening? Well, not support uh, politicians who engage in this kind of rhetoric and believe that uh, you know, force is somehow going to solve the problem in the Middle East. Um, you know, we have to hold fast to uh, you know, the, the positions that we stand and not compromise by even you know, Bernie Sanders is, engages in this kind of blood-curdling rhetoric. And, um, uh, because if we don't stand up uh, or stand up for the Palestinians in Gaza, no one is. Thank you very much, Chris Hedges. Yeah.